Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for the Scorpio Collective. We all know what today is. Um, it started yesterday, 15th through the 16th. Uh, that's the blood moon, lunar eclipse in Scorpio. So you know I couldn't let the day go by without tapping into an, into the energy. See what's coming and going out, going on with our Scorpio Collective. I will you all have been feeling strong, been grounding yourselves, protecting your energy, and paying attention to your intuition, that inner gumption, that inner wisdom. Definitely never go against it. Don't go against the grain. Go with the flow. Be water. Be fluid. I feel that there's a lot going on. Um, if you have, you know, online access, you can already see the, the headlines. You already see what's looming in the air and that's death and this is the energy we're in as above so below you know so there's a lot happening and i just wanted to tune in tap in see what's kind of lurking what's kind of looming what's hidden in the shadows what's hidden beneath the veil just so we can know how to navigate this energy um I know many of us are very sensitive at this time and it would behoove you to trust, like I said, what you're feeling. You know, that is your, that is your spirit, your higher self letting you know. So trust that, go with that. Don't go against that. Um, I do send love and light to everyone that may be feeling down at this time, lethargic. I send you powerful powerful energy of love of healing of strength may you walk away from this reading feeling invigorated i will that these messages are that of love and provides insight foresight enlightenment <laughs> um so yes um so for anyone that may be new welcome to the channel my name is q i too am a scorpio i I uh, am an empath, I channel messages intuitively, and I'm also clairaudient, so I do incorporate music into my readings, and they tend to blend very beautifully with what comes out in the tarot cards. Um, so it's very beautiful, very magical. I get messages uh, through either the title of the track, the name of the artist, maybe lyrics within the actual um, song. So they tend to marry. So it's really beautiful how that energy uh, correlates with one another. Um, so I am uh, providing general messages and my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising, your Venus, Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements so that you can have a more clear and concise message. Okay. Um, my readings are also timeless, so whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, uh, that was the divine timing. I see 333 on the clock. That reduces to 9, uh, so I do feel this change. You're on the precipice of change. Um, cha uh, 9 is the highest number and vibration of change. Um, there's also 33s, three so some of you all may be seeing 333. Three, three. 3 is the number of the divine feminine, the empress. Um, in the uh, traditional tarot. So I do feel there's a level of ascension, growth, elevation um, in your being, in your state of consciousness, and just who you are as a person. Uh, your core, I feel like you've elevated, you've grown through something. Um, because we saw 369, I do feel that you've been in a hermit mode. Nine is the number of the hermit. So there's been a lot of soul searching, a lot of deep diving, healing. Um, reflecting and even discovering um, new things about yourselves, new interests, new passions. Um, so there is that element of you just really being very um, protective of your energy, uh, holding a very sacred space for yourself, um, for those that you hold dear to your heart, your children, your family. Um, there is this element though, I feel that things are changing. There's a shift, there's some sort of um, undercurrent um, and it's about to uh, come to a head. 
Uh, I don't feel it's going to be like explosive in a bad way. I feel it's going to be enlightening, enlightening. <laughs> okay, so um, that's just what I'm picking up intuitively. So as I said, these are general messages. Eat the fish, spit out the bones. Um, so let's go ahead, do some house cleaning, okay? Um, I call upon the element of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, ascended masters, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Baba Ogun, and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So what we have playing right now is we have, um, who is this? I don't know who that is. Okay, so it is Lucy Pearl. And this is called Dance Tonight. So I feel something may happen. Um, something may happen tonight with that tonight reference. Um, maybe some of you all names are Lucy. Maybe you were dealing with someone that's named Lucy. Um, maybe Pearl even. Maybe some of you, your birthstone is a pearl. Um, I definitely feel like uh, maybe some of you are going to be dancing for joy, dancing, uh, you know, in celebration. There's some sort of good news. Um, maybe this news is coming in tonight. Maybe during the nighttime, uh, something will come in. Um, I see on the bottom of the deck, it says, believe in the impossible. I'm using the moonology just to pay homage to this blood moon. I'm starting with this and then we'll go into the numerology, which is what I typically start off the reading with. But today we're going to start off with numer uh, with the moonology. So believe in the impossible. So this is as if some sort of wish fulfillment is happening, which is why I was picking up excitement, joy, celebratory uh, energy, kind of dancing, jumping up. Um, and this is something that you've remained very hopeful for. I feel like during this full moon, uh, something is coming to light. Something is going to uh, come into fruition. Uh, as I said, wish fulfillment, something you've been praying for, hoping for, and now it's here. Uh, something you may have in the past maybe gave up on, but you still held it, a space for it in your heart. You were still desiring it. And maybe that desire and that is what, you know, is kind of what pulled this to you. In the split, we have a fiery climax approaches. So something's coming. I feel like you can feel it in the air. I feel like the air is very thick, very intense. So you can almost intuitively sense something's coming in, whether that be um, something that you are very passionate about, a person, maybe an opportunity, um, maybe something is um, about to uh, be exposed. Um, but I do feel like something's intensifying, something's growing. And this is what's kind of like uh, looming and lurking in the background. Um, I see the answers you need to come in. What did I say about a conversation? Somebody's returning to communicate with you, someone that you haven't spoken to. Um, I feel because I was picking up on the fact that you were kind of like in hermit mode uh, with the 333, three, three, that nine, I definitely sense that this is someone that wants to clear the air. Um, they want to be honest. They want to you know, uh, bring something to light. Uh, maybe they're gonna express how they feel. This is someone whose passion, they've been suppressing it. I feel this distance also, the train is going by, it just honks, so I feel like this is a message for someone, so maybe that uh, resonates with some of you all. But I do feel like, there it is again. So yeah, this is definitely somebody who's, um, maybe they were suppressing their feelings or there was something suppressed, and now it's gonna come to a head. I feel like something is definitely, um, going to come out maybe a truth a conversation is going to be had so let's see what's coming and going out going on for my beloved scorpios divine spirit of love and of light what's coming and going out going on during this lunar eclipse in scorpio the blood moon divine spirit what do we have coming and going out going on looming in the air for my beloved scorpios we have a message of love and of light it's time to take action someone is getting and it says a win it says a win-win outcome is forecast. So this is a positive outcome. We saw the wish fulfillment. So we do see, remember, re believe in the impossible. So your prayers are being answered, I feel. It's a win-win opportunity for you. Um, so, you know, this is 
even, you know, someone else's energy. Like, you know, either way, you know, them coming forward is they're still they're still going to look at it as a positive. So the overall energy, what we have is emotions are running high. So we know the emotions are running high because we already, um, you know, we're in that that lunar eclipse energy. So everything is intense. Um, you know, the word lunatic is derivative of lunar which is the moon. So the moon does have the ability to affect your mood, your psyche, um, as above, so below. So with emotions are running high, we see what's happening in, you know, mainstream media right now. There's a lot of death looming in the air. There's a lot of emotions that are being harvested at this time um, and circulated, you know, uh, by them rerunning these storylines, you're putting your energy into it and you're feeling a certain way. And then you speak about it with someone else and then you're just passing on that same energy. So the emotions are running high, which is very important. Um, which is why it's very important at this time to really protect your energy, to really be mindful of who you're sharing space with. Um, but I do sense that, you know, you could feel the intensity, the thickness in the air with the emotions, with the mood. Um, so you could be very guarded at this time, very protective. Um, on the bottom of the deck, it says a new romantic cycle begins. And we're about to, we're about to, um, ask who the person is that's coming toward you what they're feeling and so i do feel like this is somebody that's coming in to balance the scales uh someone that may have you have history there's some sense of familiarity with this person someone that's from your past um maybe a friend a colleague someone you've lost contact with someone you've kind of you know just kind of disconnected i feel there's someone wanting to restore the balance and wanting to clear the air this is the new moon in libra so this is someone wanting a new cycle with you a new start a new beginning uh wanting to level things out um i'm definitely feeling this person has love on the brain um this is someone who's come to the epiphany that they love you uh, I do feel like this is good karma. Remember, believe in the impossible. So this is like something coming around for you because it's destined. Um, it's fated to happen that way. We have Queen Latifah featuring Moni Love, and this is called Ladies First. So this is someone that is going to put you first, ladies, if this is a divine masculine. This is someone that does love you because I, you know, with that Moni Love reference, I feel this person has come to the realization that they love you. Maybe that's something that's coming to uh, fruition for this person during this, this uh, full moon. Maybe someone has had that aha moment or some moment of clarity, and now they're realizing that they want to uh, take some sort of initiative. Maybe in the past, they could have blocked it, suppressed their feelings, denied their feelings. They just prevented themselves from being vulnerable to you know opening up with you and that's why they want to restore the balance because something was imbalanced um so i definitely am sensing uh with this new romantic cycle begins i feel this person is really coming in as i said very uh sure very confident um so let's see how does this person feel about our beloved scorpio so we have step outside of your comfort zone so they may feel you're guarded. They may feel that you're very reserved, you know, that it's very hard to kind of get a gauge on you, what you're thinking, because maybe you put up this tough exterior. Um, maybe this is someone that feels you're standoffish or that you would bite their head off. Uh, maybe you feel a little snappish um, with emotions are running high. They may see you as someone very emotional. Um, you know, maybe this person is just uh, feeling that you have been very guarded or you may have your own kind of like routine. So you may not be open. You may not be receptive to them, um, but they do feel you're guarded. We also see look uh, at the bigger picture. So they do feel like you assess things, like you look for the red flags. Um, they may feel that you're judgmental. I just heard the word judgmental in my mind's eye. So they may feel like you be, you could possibly like judge them uh, before you give them a chance. Um, looking at the bigger picture, I do feel like this is something that they've had to do. Um, maybe in assessing you, um, they may have misjudged you and they're looking at something more deeper. Uh, we have a time for healing. So maybe this person is starting to see 
perhaps, you know, how they could have sabotaged a connection with you because they feel you're guarded, that you're a very reserved, standoffish, and they're looking at the bigger picture, the possibility um, of possibly patching things up. Because remember, this is that person that wants to restore the balance with a time for healing. They want to heal and connect, reconnect. Um, they want to restore the friendship. If this is like an old friend or an old um, colleague that you could have possibly dated, but it didn't go anywhere. I feel like this is someone that admires you. Um, someone that has taken the time out to really assess the situation because I feel this person's ready to take their shot, you know, take some sort of shot um, and not shy away from it. Um, I see a time to give rather than to take. So this could have been someone who was really um, selfish. You know, maybe they didn't, uh, they weren't as attentive or um, as affectionate or as open as I said you know they could have been very guarded with you and I feel like you really gave of yourself you were very nurturing and caring um you were very communicative and open about your feelings whereas they could have potentially like you know they could have held back I feel like they could have held back um and it could have been because they was in another connection with this a new romantic cycle begins um it's saying there's a new one so possibly they were closing out an old one um, and this could be the reason why you're guarded because you you kind of are aware of, you know, what this person was doing or what they were dealing with. And maybe that's why there's this desire to, to clear the air, to open up. It says don't let pride get in your way. So this person could have, you know, been very proud and egotistical in the past. 16, 16, that's 7, 7. So you both are kind of like highly intuitive, highly sensitive. Like you've grown spiritually. There's a sense of like being very uh, sensitive. So equally, you know, both of you are equally uh, psychic. Um, and I feel like this is why this person uh, may be heavily in your energy at this time. The heart of the matter is look at the bigger picture. So I feel like the divine wants you to look beyond, um, you know, what someone is showing you and to dig a little deeper, dive a little deeper within yourself to really see if you could trust the situation. I feel like with this, don't let pride get in your way. It's like the divine doesn't want you to make the same mistakes, which you could have possibly made in the past by, you know, not really standing up for yourself um, or, you know, not really opening yourself up, being more receptive and trusting your intuition, um, being that that leader, you know, being someone who is um, powerful and asserts themselves. That's what the divine is saying. You can do that, but you don't have to do it in, in a way, in an aggressive manner or a way where you are um, being selfish because this is falling right next to a time to give rather than receive and then don't let pride. So it's like, don't let the mistakes of the past um, hinder or block you. I feel like the divine wants you to be bold and to be daring and to, you know, trust that you are going to know the way in which to handle the situation work through your fears this is exactly what i was saying and the feeling and we have worked through your fears here on the bottom of the deck and it's in scorpio and this is a new moon so this is like the divine wants you to look at things from a whole new perspective from that perspective of the person who has emerged someone different that divine feminine or divine masculine that we saw in the beginning when we saw 333 so this is someone um that is assertive that's fearless that confronts their fears of pose to running from them being guarded i feel like the divine is saying don't let your pride your ego and your pride is going to have you acting in a way where your defenses defensive opposed to just trusting your intuition and trusting your ability to navigate that situation so we have right now um we have Nas, um, you mean the world to me. So I definitely feel someone is discovering um, just how profound their feelings are for you. Like they feel like you mean the world to them. Um, this is somebody that could be at a distance. Uh, they may feel um, that you are distant emotionally as well, which is why they're really like desiring to communicate with you, to clear the air, to bring balance. We have on the bottom of the deck personal growth. I was just chiming on that. Uh, 1616 that we just saw 77 seven, and I was saying how you've grown spiritually this is like you know spiritual strength someone very sensitive someone very intuitive someone very connected and I feel this is someone that's sending you a message saying you mean the world to them that's why the divine is saying don't let pride get in your way submit yourself you know to the situation or commit yourself but surrender is what I wanted to say surrender yourself you know, trust in the divine because we have look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is 
you know, does that connection feel um, like something that transcends the space and time? If so, that could mean that this is your divine counterpart, you know, that cosmic companion, this person you've been having this dance with through many lifetimes. And I feel you've been growing each time, you know, each time you've leveled up, you know, you've had to ascend. You are the root chakra, you know, so that's the first chakra. You've worked your way all the way up to ascension. This is ascension here, getting to that point where your crown chakra, chakra is activated. And so you're receiving those downloads. You're receiving those gut instincts, those gumption. You know, you're receiving divine intervention, transmissions, you know, you're having those little synchronations or those sensations, you're having those experiences, and that shows your spiritual strength. So let's see. So why are emotions running high for our beloved Scorpios? And there goes the uh, parenting. So some of you all could be really um, dealing with, like I said, uh, maybe childhood issues, dealing with a difficult parent, an overbearing parent, or dealing with someone who has an overbearing or difficult parent. This could have been someone who's been trying to um, disrupt your connection. Maybe they've been successful in doing this because it caused someone to kind of go in an opposite direction opposed to going towards you. I feel someone is really struggling with a mother um, or a father or a child's mother or a child's father that has really exhausted them. This is somebody that's really frustrated with the connection or with that relationship dynamic. And it's leading them to this point where they could possibly be wanting to walk away from it. Because this nine is telling me like now they're willing to just kind of walk away. They're setting up their boundaries, their guard, uh, so that they can rebuild and focus on what's important. I feel like they're finding their voice. There's some sort of enlightenment or clarity coming through for them uh, because we do see a new romantic cycle begin. So maybe someone was blocking and delaying someone's ability to develop a connection with someone. We have tweets and this is called complain. So maybe someone's, um, you know, dealing with a very nagging mother or someone who's always complaining someone who's always you know crying wolf oh my leg hurt my back hurt just so their child will feel pity for them feel sad um and so this person is looking for peace you know i feel like with this 46 is saying it's the end they don't have any peace in their home they don't have peace in their life because the domestic harmony is like at a, a it's at a end so they want this this balance they want to restore the the balance the emotional equilibrium um not only in the connection with you but within themselves um so this person is like you know they're hurting but they are learning um, in the same breath, you know, how to love themselves better by dealing with somebody who complains, nags, they never do nothing right. Um, you know, they always want more. They're ne never satisfied. Uh, so somebody could be dealing with like a baby mom's. I just get in the picture of like a, a, a child's mother who's just always nickel and diming you for everything. Um, this children's mom could be, you know, honestly, like, doing better than you financially but it doesn't stop you from doing what you got to do for your child you're paying child support and in addition to that whatever she may ask for you're willing to do it but she's just constantly wanting more and it's like it's getting to the point where you're just frustrated and she threatens you all the time to get the child support increase uh whenever you don't obey whatever ridiculous demands she's setting so maybe some of y'all are dealing with like that type of overbearing child's mom um complaining so we got 99 compassion and this is what is clarifying the emotions are running high so i feel like this is your energy you've grown very aware very conscious nine nine is still nine that's 18 that's nine so there's this sensation or this notion this understanding this deeper more profound understanding because this is purple which means that you are highly um wise you're wise you've you know reached that level of christ consciousness if you will but you have ascended into this role um but you have learned how to um, navigate your emotions, like how to um, control your own emotions. So there's this energy of you being emotionally intelligent. Um, I feel like you're not judging people. You're not judging yourself. You're just focusing on the love, on the light, on the positivity. And that's how you're attracting the same type of vibration. Um, 
follow your dreams. So this is really, like I said, holding that space in your heart to do the things that you feel most passionate about. Um, there's something intensifying within you, erupting within you that's been lying dormant. And it's like you're wanting to answer this call. This 85 reduces to 13, so that's four. So there could be someone that could potentially see you as some sort of wish fulfillment, um, as someone that they can uh, have a life with, a future, build, you know, a legacy, um, grow with, you know. And I definitely see this as also you kind of like being in that transformative energy where you are the conduit of change and you're also co-creating with source uh you could be in a very uh a very powerful space where you're focused on your stability your security your self-sufficiency your independence because you've discovered that is the foundation for your peace your happiness and your joy and so you're rebuilding um restructuring re-strategizing um and this is making you super attractive by the person uh that wants to restore this balance because they do find you to be like a wish fulfillment someone is completing and wrapping up a cycle and i do feel like that's with that overbearing parent or the child's mother or someone that they could have been in a partnership with this is definitely an energy of someone who is um closing out a cycle something is coming full circle and, and the death is very um, fitting. There's a death of a relationship. So we have spiritual partnership. So this person is coming to the epiphany. This 15 reduces to 6. I said 15. I thought I saw 87. That's 27 because my time stamp is blocking the two. So this 27 is 9. So this person is now ready and prepared to come towards you because they realize that you are... Uh, you know, their cosmic companion. Um, we have financial discipline also flew out and we have domestic harmony. So someone was going through a very rocky and follow your dreams is on the bottom of the deck. So this person is absolutely following um, you because they feel like you are wish fulfillment. If you look in the sky, um, there seems to be like a star that's sparkling and this is um, North Node. So that typically is saying that this person could be north of you. Maybe you live north of this person this person sees you as wish fulfillment um so this person is going to follow you the 13 reduces to four that's a divine masculine so this is someone coming in very powerfully and strong uh because they've just wrapped up a cycle so they're very passionate i feel like whatever it is they've discovered during the uh completion of this lesson is they realize that you are someone they love someone that they have held a space for um and they're willing and ready and prepared for the ride, uh, remember the energy here is step outside of your comfort zone. So I feel this person is going to come in, pop into your life. Like this is somebody coming in unexpectedly and they see you as wish fulfillment. And perhaps this is a wish fulfillment for you because remember the divine said, um, believe in the impossible. Um, and with adventure, I feel like you're going to be taken for a ride, a brand new ride. Uh, a brand new ride in love, a brand new ride that's going to change your relationship status, you know, like you're no longer going to be single if you are single. Um, and remember your person, what they had was a new romantic cycle begins. So this is someone coming in intentionally to put a ring on it because you two are cosmic companions. You know, this is someone that cannot fight it anymore. You could have walked away from this person. I'm getting like the eight of cups and in you walking away, your absence. This person has felt your absence, felt, you know, the disconnect. And that has made them feel blocked. They feel you're defensive. They feel that you're not allowing them in. And this is someone that really feels you are someone that is, you know, like their kindred spirit. Um, they feel a connectedness with you or a connectiveness with you that they don't feel with anyone else. It's like you're unique, you're rare. They've sat with this for a long time in hermit mode. Um, remember we saw 369, this is the nine. This is someone who has pondered, who has sat with this information, who have, has assessed it, who has really gone within, you know, introspected, reflected. Uh, and they've come to the conclusion that this is a more deeper connection. Um, the hermit is a wizard, you know, so he knows the answers he's seeking are found within. And this person made a very conscious decision to disconnect from the outside world, from all of the noise, from all of the chatter and to go within. And what they're realizing is this connection is spiritual. It's deeper. And they really want to have the harmony. This is the next step, the new beginning to have this domestic harmony. This person is working on their finances. 
So that may have been the reason why there's been some sort of delay in this union. I feel this person has also been in a codependent relationship. So they could be trying to rebuild you know, their finances or trying to save or trying to work on a career choice, moving, whatever it is, living alone. Um, we have, I'll be sure if I'm not your lover playing. So this is someone that isn't your lover, but desires to be. Um, I feel like this person is sure about you. That's what I was really picking up on is this person is very sure about making this move. And what they're doing is trying to muster up the courage you know, to step out of their comfort zone, to get out of their way, to get out of their head and to follow their dream. You are their star. You can see that star in the sky. And I do feel like this person sees you from a distance, like watches you from a distance. This is someone that definitely um, keeps tabs on you. So why is step out of your comfort zone here for who's coming in for our beloved Scorpios? May I have a message for this person that's attracted to our beloved Scorpios, why is the step out of your comfort zone here? And so we have self-love. So self-love has made you far more attractive and this person is getting more, you know, passionate by the day, you know, feeling more determined, you know, courage, courageous, you know, intentional. This is like they've come to the awareness that they they are attracted to you. This is like this ace of wands is a very felicious energy. So they're very hot and bothered by you, very passionate about you. They see you very, um, very beautiful. You know, you are like, you know, you have that that nurturing energy, that maternal energy. You know, if you're masculine, you could be someone that someone could see themselves having your children because they know that you would protect and provide for your children. We have this self-love. So this person has also, I feel, worked on loving themselves. And they feel that you've been holding back and blocking them out of self-love because maybe in the past they didn't see your worth and value. And so maybe you feel like you have to guard yourself. Maybe you feel like you have to have those boundaries because maybe someone mishandled your heart in the past. So with this 16 or the 61 part of me, it's like they know that you're trusting your gut instinct. They know that you're following you know, your intuition and they understand that. And I feel like this is what's really what they really truly um, appreciate about you. And they know that they have to come in right and exact, you know, because this is someone who's, you know, that 61 is like, you know, the chariot. So this is someone that has found balance. This is someone that's also going to be very intentional. And we have Aaliyah, I care for you. So this person does realize how much they care for you, which is why they're coming towards you, which is why I'm getting like the chariot energy. So they're going to be confident. They're going to be courageous. They're going to be very assertive. And they're going to express to you how they feel that they want this new beginning because they're looking at the bigger picture. You know, that's why I feel they're going to shoot their shot this time around. They're gonna, they have a very focused intention. They're kind of locked in on you and on this connection because this is a part of the epiphany they've had during their time you know kind of in um in that hermit mode you know they've been like getting more of a a grand perspective on the whole scenario and i feel this is someone that sees you in a whole new light so why is look at the bigger picture here karmic completion See that? And that flew up and we got personal growth. Someone has learned. Someone's mirroring your energy. This is someone that's mirroring your energy. This is someone that's definitely just wrapping up a cycle. As I said, this is someone that has grown through the experience. Three, 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 three on the clock right now. That's 12. That's three. This person's coming after you because they recognize you as the divine feminine. That three, 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 three is 12. That's four. I'm sorry, I said that's 12, that's 4, that's 12, that's 3. So this person sees you as that empress energy. And they've recognized this because now that they've done all this work, this is like wrapping up a karmic cycle. So this requires like that dark night of the soul journey. Someone's wrapping up a dark night of the soul journey and they've grown. They've completed something here. And so now they see things clearer. This is like, you know, back at 1. So now they have a... a you know, a broader understanding, but more so they have clarity. This is wisdom. 
ascension. Knowing how to navigate difficult situations with I care for you. Someone has come to the epiphany that they care for you. They care deeper. And we have teaching and learning. And a time for healing is what it's clarifying. So the healing was necessary because there's been a lot of lessons learned in this process. There were a lot of karmic lessons that were necessary for both you and your person. And I feel like they've watched you with this teaching and learning. This 12 breaks down to three. So you were the teacher. You were the master teacher and the student at the same time. Your person has learned from you. So now they're wrapping up their cycle and completing whatever was toxic in their life. Cutting off the karmic cords, breaking certain generational curses. And this is because they discovered that they have to heal their inner child. They got to heal themselves in order to be able to approach you. So that's why the timeout was necessary. They had to give to themselves. I feel like you had to learn to take care of you first. That's the first step in being, you know, the empress is you have to love yourself, know your worth, know your value. You had to give to you. You had to ground yourself. Maybe this is someone that's coming in to be very generous with their time and their energy, their love. I feel with time out, this is absolutely going to be, you know, helpful because someone's going to give you an opportunity to rest because maybe you've always been juggling a lot. Somebody's coming in to give rather than to take. So this is that person that wasn't being very giving. And we have synchronization or synchronicity here. And that's 8715. So someone's coming in to give you love. That 87 reduces to 15, which is 6. And with synchronicity, I feel this is your, your cosmic companion. I feel like you and this person are on the same vibration. 6 is the lovers. And this person is coming in to give because they didn't make the effort in the past. And this is what they've learned. They learned your love language. They learned what you deserve, desire, and require. This is someone that you are seen as very independent now. Like you're able to take care of yourself. They see you as someone very wise, very intuitive. The sun is like shining in my room so bright and it was just like raining. Looks very beautiful outside. So this person is, you know, seeing you as someone who is very independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, but also psychic. I feel you both are highly intuitive. This 11 tells me you both are in the same energy. So that's one one. And I feel like that's the awareness you both have, the sensitivity. You know, the fact that, you know, you could set your intention to manifest. So your master manifestors, because the one is the magician in traditional tarot. I also feel this is alluding to the fact that you have a twin flame, a soulmate, a cosmic companion, someone that you have the same like mind, 37, 37, 10, 10. Both of you went through this karmic completion. Both of you went through some sort of karmic lesson and you have passed and now you're growing into you know very independent self-sufficient individuals i feel you both had to learn the same the same lesson lesson about self-love and about standing erect standing on your own standing perpendicular in your square with don't let pride get in your way i feel like that's also telling you like trust your intuition don't go against it you know with two i do feel like you know that's the sacral so maybe somebody was you know really being um I heard overzealous in my mind's eye. And so we have a card that flew and we have self-discipline. See that? So someone had to learn self-control. You know, someone was very egotistical, very cocky. You know, maybe they were very conceited or very self-absorbed self. You know, because this is the same person that didn't make the effort, didn't take the time. And it was all for show. It was all ego based. And so they've been learning how to be more um, emotionally intelligent with self-discipline. I definitely, you know, with that green, I feel like they had to learn, you know, through their own mistakes. And now there's this new beginning. This is like, you know, that same energy of like expect the impossible. So whatever was completed or whatever was, you know, um, Whatever ended in the past, I feel the divine is bringing you into alignment with someone that's meant to be in your life. 
not someone that you aren't supposed to be with. There's a, a passionate new start here. A very passionate and intense new start with someone. This is beautiful. Um, let's get some messages from Hoodoo. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on. So I saw on the split immediately, we have the Queen of Cups. This is your energy straight out the gate. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's some sort of new emotional start. This is like emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment. Um, this is a blessing. You know, I got to put this down because this sun is like beating in here. So this is you. Very satisfied, happy, you know, very giving. This is how others see you. You know, this is that energy of that empress. This is that energy of that, you know, confident divine feminine or divine man masculine. So we got a card that was trying. The ace of coins just kind of flipped out. So this is your message here. There's a new financial blessing or some sort of new offer. This could be a promotion, pay increase, bonus. This could be approval on a loan, approval on a home loan, a car loan. This is some sort of settlement. This is a blessing from the divine. Unexpected money. This is like winning the lottery, a scratch off. This is really like, you know, you being gifted with something. Someone coming in intentionally uh, to be supportive, to perhaps, um, like I said, giving you a loan or being generous. Um, I definitely feel this is saying that you are uh, very financially stable, self-sufficient. You got the nine of sticks and you're very guarded, very protective of yourself, of your energy, what you got going on. I feel like you've learned through trial and error. You've given a lot of people chance after chance. And with this nine of coins, you rebuild. You rebuilt what was destroyed. I get a sense of a tower moment. And that's why you're really guarded. That's why you are, you know, creating like a protective bubble, a sacred space. You are busy creating, busy taking care of home, um, very domestic, very much a healer. You know, uh, you're focused on your family. And I feel like whatever you're working on is leading to some level of success or blessing, some sort of miracle. It's like the divine is, is rewarding you. And we have Rico love. They don't know. So a lot of people don't know what you do. Um, you know, they just see you as someone very regal and royal. Um, and, and, you know, they don't know the blood, sweat and tears. They don't know how you manage. Um, but they find you to be very attractive, very successful. I feel like this nine of knives, someone is up in their head about you, like suffering from insomnia. This is somebody that thinks about you all the time, wakes up in cold sweats. This is somebody that's ruminating, pining over you, over your success. These could be secret haters. This could be frenemies, enemies, fugazis. This could be even be fake family that don't really want to see you rock. Six of coins is these are people who were kind of like, you know, around just for what they can get. They were takers. They always wanted you to grease their palms. These are people that took a gamble with your life also. Like they gambled you like they didn't really see your value. They probably didn't reciprocate. This is a lot of like breadcrumbing, never there when you need them. You've learned to be comfortable on your own. I feel like you've learned that you couldn't trust people. I feel like, you know, with this cat here, it's like you're very impervious to threat because you're intuitive. It's like these people that are like stunting on you and, and, and trying to line you up. It's like they they can't even get past your defenses because you you already see through them. You already know who they are. I feel with the seven of baskets, a lot of these people were kind of gassing you up filling you with just not nonsense, gaslighting, um, you know, really just emotionally manipulative. And I feel like you just focused on yourself. You disconnected. You went into that hermit mode and you started to master your craft, sharpen your sword, hone your skills, gifts and talents. And I feel like now you're just here unbothered, very successful. You reached the level of self mastery. You're enjoying the fruits of your labor. It's like you ain't wanting for anything. You ain't needing for anything. And I feel like with this three of coins, there's someone who's really trying to manifest you back. This is someone that can't keep their eyes off of you. Somebody that watches you from a distance. Maybe somebody that gets readings on you trying to figure out what you're doing, how you're doing it. This is someone that's really like interested in, in maybe, you know, a creative idea. So they're trying to bite your style. They're watching you, studying you. And it's like you're impervious to threat. You're already hip to the nonsense. You already know you have eyes on you, so you protect yourself. You're guarded. I feel like they're paying practitioners or praying someone to look into your life, to look into your background. I feel this is someone who's also um, 
made a lot of sacrifices, you know, and they're seen, being forced, you know, perhaps to look at themselves. You know, maybe somebody is, um, you know, paying for some sort of karmic debt. You know, maybe somebody paid for someone to harm you and now they're being forced to, you know, look at their behavior, look at things from another perspective. Maybe someone sees you as, you know, like uh, maybe you are a tarot reader and this is someone that may have had some sort of negative um, opinion about tarot readers or psychics or intuitives. And now they see you in a whole new light. I feel this is energy of like you needing to trust your intuition because there could be something that has you uh, kind of like in two minds where you're a little confused. And so I feel this is impertinence to somebody that could potentially um, be, you know, in this position, the sacrificial position um, that's looking at you now in a whole new light. Um, I feel like you're going to trust your intuition on whether or not you should cut this person free um, because I do feel like this person is um, looking at things with a whole new perspective now. Um, we got the Sun of Knives, so I feel somebody wants to communicate. They want to express something. They want to get something off their chest. Um, this is definitely uh, a lot of eyes on you. I see the Daughter of Knives, so this is telling me there's absolutely like a lot of chatter. Um, these are people trying to pull her down, trying to bring her down to their level. Um, these are like demonic energies. They're coming from the ground. So it's like they're trying to pull and tug on her, but she's very powerful. So this person is looking at you now is very powerful. Maybe, you know, you are fighting against your own demons, fighting against the demons that someone has tried to send to you and you're still standing strong. Um, this is someone who's looking at their actions or someone who's going to have to suffer some sort of fate. You can see that noose on their neck. So they're being punished. I feel like that's a form of punishment with this noose. Uh, but they're first being forced to look at what they were doing with this four of knives. They're looking at you heal yourself, like how you went through the healing process. Like you didn't turn bitter or vindictive or vengeful and try to seek revenge. I feel this person may have done that. They could have gone around trying to turn people against you through, you know, assassinating your character, lying on you. Um, you know, they could have been being deceitful or deceptive about things, um, you know, just really, really hateful. And they're watching how you have just with ease, um, you've approached the situation uh, to to heal, you know, to to learn from the experience like you didn't turn bitter. Um, it's like they're watching you turn better. They're turn. They're watching you uh, become the alchemist that they were trying to be. Um, you're literally very powerful, very aware of your energy, of your power that you possess. And I feel like this person is now acknowledging that the divine has blessed you with this. With this Black Herman or Bishop Mason, excuse me, this is the um, Hierophant. So there is a sense that this person does see you as someone that is like high in spiritual rank. Um, maybe you could be, you know, someone who is a healer. Um, as I said, we saw that tower reader, that crystal ball. So maybe you're someone just that's very spiritual and they're looking at you in a different light. Um, you know, told not to judge, um, because you've had to heal yourself with this Miss Eda. That's the high priestess. They see you now in an element of, uh, self mastery, you know, very wise, very informed, someone who has a knowingness, someone very connected keeper of ancient wisdom. You know, very connected and grounded, you know, rooted in the energy. This person sees you now as this very regal and royal and powerful sorceress. Um, so let's go ahead, cut the deck. Sorceress or sorcerer for that masculine energy. So let's see what's coming and going out, going on. We're going to cut the deck three times. See what we got. Bottom of the deck is going to clarify compassion and emotions are running high and we have the three of six so this is like my ready set go energy so i do feel like someone is you know kind of like planning and preparing how to come in how to take action um this is someone that i feel like you've learned to um forgive because the divine is the divine is reminding you that you have changed you have evolved so don't be judgmental focus on the love and light focus on restoring the balance if someone comes in it's because they've sat with it, you know, they've sat with it, they've replayed it, and now they're coming in intentionally, they're leaving two wands behind. So whatever confusion, you know, whatever fork in the road they were stuck at, it's like they're coming in intentionally because I feel their passion for you has been intensifying, has been growing. 
Um, that could be why the emotions are running high because someone is starting to really discover just how much they feel, how much they care. Um, this is something that cannot change. Um, there's, you know, the distance, the blocks, the lack of communication did not change how they feel. Um, we have the four of sticks here. I can't make this up. This is someone that sees you as, like I said, their cosmic companion. This is the person that knows that when they do get in contact with you, that they want to take it to the next level. This is a spiritual partnership as far as they're concerned. This is that person that wants to restore the balance. They want to put a ring on it. They want to go ahead and take you down to the chapel and get married. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is somebody that really has sat with this. They see that they could have that happy house, happy spouse, that happily ever after. They see that they can plant seeds and roots, have children, a family, a legacy. They see that they can grow old with you and be satisfied with that. This is somebody that's coming in, like I said, not to play games, not to waste your time, but to really establish something real. This is someone that's working on their finances, which is why it could have taken a while or could have been delayed because they had to take care of their finances first. Maybe they had to detach from an ex or a karmic situation, get their name off some of the bills they were sharing with an, a karmic. And there's a lot of steps. But this person has sat with the energy long enough and has discovered this is self-discovery that, look, I love my Scorpio. That is my spiritual partner. This is where we will have harmony. This is that person that I'm willing to invest in. This could be someone that you may have met at your job, at your place of employment. And this is also 12, so they do feel like they're willing to invest. They see your worth, your value. This is absolutely powerful energy. I don't know why my thing stopped. So we have um, Lee Morgan. What's going on? All right. So you already know how Mercury Retrograde does. My iPad has just glitched. So I'm going to shut her down and restart her. So spiritual partnership. This is not for play play. Your person's coming in and they're going to give you some tangibles. There's going to be a box in their hand at some point with a bouquet of flowers and them melting down. Well, this is going to be that female that's going to just Hit you fellas with that message, you know, like, look, you want to get married? Will you marry me? But this is that right here. This is like the 1111. Remember we saw earlier, this is that person that really has that love for you. This is someone that has really come to the realization, the, the, the grand epiphany that they love you, that they want to build with you. These are two people that are really like, they're planting, you know, they're planting seeds together. They're gardening. They're putting their hands in the dirt. They're, they're grounding themselves. They're establishing roots, a foundation. There's laughter. This is, what, this is what past life love looks like right here. And that's why it says, you know, your relationship cycle is about to begin. So why is, um, what was it again? A new romantic cycle begins, spiritual partnership, financial discipline, and... Domestic harmony here for the person Scorpio is attracting. I have a message of love and of light. Thank you, spirit. So we have the two of coins. So they were in a space where they were juggling. You know, like I said, they were wrapping up a karmic uh, cycle. So they were juggling. And the, all the while their emotions was getting out of hand. Their emotions were growing. This is someone who was trying to juggle perhaps this you know, perfect life with someone that was just a karmic, someone that they had absolutely no synergy, no chemistry with, but it was all about the finances, all about the appearance, the material, you know, it wasn't about the love. This person has started to realize they could have said some things that they regret. They could have been very callous in the way they spoke to you the last time. And now they understand why you're so defensive. This person sees you know, maybe they sought some wise counsel from an elder. Maybe they were getting advice from maybe some uncles or maybe an auntie, a grandmother. They've been sitting at the feet of the elders or going through some sort of spiritual enlightenment. And they've learned, like, this is why Scorpio has been so guarded with me. Because I played with their heart. They could have said some things that were, like I said, just immature, hurtful. 
And so that's why now you're like very defensive, you know, you're, you've been hurt and they understand that. They also see you as someone very wise, you know, like you've grown spiritually. This person wants to extend an apology. You know, they want to offer you love because this person has discovered they feel these feelings of love. This is someone that definitely wants to say the words, I am sorry, because they have sat for a while with this hermit energy and they've learned and discovered you're their spiritual partner. You're the one. You're the cosmic companion. You're the one that got away. So with this energy here, um, we have step out of your comfort zone. Um, so let's see. And the self-love. So why is this here for how Scorpio's person feels about our beloved Scorpio? And we have Gula Black. I cannot make this up. So this person is now looking at you differently because why? Because you discovered self-love made you more attractive. They also understand why you're in this defensive energy. Remember, I was saying I was getting like that seven of wands. Like, you know, you're, you're very defensive. You're, you're fighting tooth and nail. Like, you know what I'm saying? Protecting your peace because you've created a sacred space. This person now understands your defensiveness. They understand because they were forced to see things, you know, from your perspective. And so now they're going to receive some sort of clarity you know, they receive some sort of illumination, some aha moment. And what they discover is more than they, you know, they realize, you know, they realize you're their wish fulfillment all along. You're the star. They're looking at this from a completely different vantage point. And so we have. So let's see, what is this playing? So, yeah, this person definitely sees you. You got the father of coins. They see your worth and value and they want to offer you something real. This person sees you as wish fulfillment. You see the genie, you know, this little, um, what is that called? A genie bottle. This is called Wait On Me. And this is by, who is this by? I know Raheem Devine was singing. Oh, this is Guru. So this is called Wait On Me. So this person wants you to wait on them. They want you to wait on them because they know, you know, like you're getting, you know, a little antsy, like you're ready and prepared to move on. This person is trying to step out of their comfort zone. You know, they don't want you to leave them behind. This person also knows you have love for yourself, you know, so they they're not sure if you're going to receive, you know, be open, you know, but this is absolutely like someone that's very resourceful, very practical. This could be that person willing to, you know, like I said, you know, give you like an engagement ring, you know, propose, you know, come in very intentionally, maybe wanting to, um, you know, ask you to move in together. This person is going to like practitioners, you know, speaking to people to get insight. They go into someone like maybe a spiritualist, a counselor, they're getting some sort of advice about how to handle this. Mustering up the strength and courage. What did I say? karmic completion so this is the strength the courage the wisdom they're looking at the bigger picture and that is look shoot your shot be bold be daring take risks set your intention and hold your vision this is especially after a dark period in their life ends so this is that bold new opportunity that new chance leaning on their strength you are the big queen this is the empress they see you as the big queen, the empress. What did I say? Teaching and learning. They've learned from watching you. They've been watching from a distance, from afar. And with a time for healing, they feel the time is now for the two of you to restore, to re reconcile. For the two of you to reunite. This 12 is 3. That's the 3 of cups. To restore the 3 of pentacles. Because this is a time for healing in their eyes. And we have wait on me. They want you to wait on them. They know that you're growing antsy, but they also know how sensitive you are energetically. And they're holding this vision and this space in their heart for you. And they feel like you are going to be very sensitive to receiving it. You're also very, very powerful. They see you as very powerful. They have a lot of love. They are attracted to you. And this is just double confirmation with this 12, which is three. You are and have been like the teacher and the student. 
and you've ascended into the role of the empress through taking those necessary steps to heal thyself, to learn to love thyself, to know thyself. So now you set your standards higher. And we have Nas in common. This is called the light. So this person sees clearly now. Remember, we saw light earlier. So the light is the sun. It's illumination. It's a new beginning. It's a new day. So this person does see that they can have a new start with you. So why is a time for healing, teaching, and learning here for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. I can't mess, make this up. Ten of coins. This is happy house, happy spouse. This is commitment. This is longevity. This is family. This is legacy. This is having a partner that you can grow with, that you can teach and learn. This is a very healing relationship. You both love and nurture one another. My nose has been tingling like crazy. There's a lot of people in someone's ear or maybe someone was really dealing with a lot of naysayers, gossip, listening to the wrong people, people that could have been sabotaging this connection. I feel like someone said it's time for them to disassociate themselves from the Debbie Downers, from the haters, and to really start trusting their own intuition and to give to this connection opposed to being distant from not taking initiative because they know they love you. They've had that epiphany. They've had that clarity. This is someone who has closed themselves off from this relationships, from these connections. They may have cut these negative people out of their lives, which has allowed them the opportunity to see things more clearly. And they see how they were sabotaging, how they were not giving to the connection. With synchronicity, I feel this person has discovered, as we saw here, with you know spiritual partnership that this is a, a very divine union because this 87 reduces to 15 which is six and that's the lovers so they feel that this is a divine union and they want to come into union with you regardless or contrary to what anybody has to say this is what they're willing to do and they're willing to protect it with the light they've become very aware i feel the full moon is also illuminating things bringing a lot into you know the into the um the forefront for them so why is don't let your pride get in the way and self-discipline here for the outcome for my beloved scorpios so look what came back out we got the five of baskets uh, i'm sorry i said the five of baskets. the five of sticks the empress and the ten of baskets on the bottom of the deck we have miss robinson and that is the devil so this person is trying to figure out how to get past this devil because this is what, you know, they, they could be one of those people who care about, or maybe they did care in the past about what other people thought. But you also have to take into account that this person has realized that you are the empress. And so with this five energy, that five represents the hierophant. And the hierophant we did see here with Bishop Mason. So someone is going to the elders, going to their ancestors, seeking wise counsel and learning. Defend yourself amongst those naysayers. You have to be very mindful to protect your energy because these are energy vampires. These are gossiping ass fools. These are people talking because they have lips. You started to assess these connections and you started to realize you had to protect yourself because this union is how you truly feel that this is someone that is the yang to your yin yin to your yang and right now we have jill scott featuring um anthony hamilton so in love so this person realizes they're so in love with you you're the empress this is how they feel with the ten of cups the outcome is you're going to have emotional fulfillment in addition to emotional uh you know financial fulfillment we had the ace of pentacles fly out in the beginning of the reading and this was your bonus message so you got the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles here so this is a brand new beginning there's a lot of hate there's a lot of jealousy and maybe somebody is holding on to some vengeance because someone is coming towards you someone is realizing that you are wish fulfillment you are who they want to plant seeds and roots with because they are so in love according to Jill Scott and Anthony Hamilton and this devil is perturbed this is the person that they had to complete this cycle, cut the karmic cords, because they got to looking at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture was you have to stand up for what you believe in. You got to stand your ground. You got to speak your truth. 
because something is not meant to go on forever and last forever. This is a karmic. You're meant to learn a lesson. You learn it and you move on. So someone realizes they have to take their shot now or they're going to get stuck in another cycle. They're going to repeat a cycle. They're mustering up the strength, courage, and wisdom. It's a lot of people gossiping about this person now trying to be assertive or, you know, having conversations about leaving. And maybe they slipped up and said, hey, I'm following my heart. There's someone else out there that I know is mine. And this is causing a lot of people to talk. This person knows they want to be in a relationship that's of equal give and take. A relationship that is of emotional fulfillment and not that of obligation. They could have been with somebody that was just with them for the glitz, the glamour, the money, the finances, the stability, but not necessarily for love because the happiness long left. They was feeling an obligation because, like I said, maybe they were sharing bills. This person has absolutely been very guarded in the connection. They haven't really opened up to this person because they've checked out a long time ago ever since they realized that they require and desire a more spiritual connection and not only do they desire it they know they have that in you so there's always this longing this romantic cycle comes to an end which is why they say a new romantic cycle is beginning because they're completing the cycle which is the heart of the matter so let's get some messages from my deck so you have earth angel here on the bottom of the deck so this person absolutely is not only in love with you, but they also see you as someone that has really helped them in their spiritual journey. Like you've provided a lot of um, love and care, you know, whether you realize it or not, you've helped them to heal. You've helped them to see themselves in a different perspective. You've helped them to look at love in a different perspective and they recognize the beauty that is you. It says um, stress kill, destroy stress. So there's absolutely, you know, a very um, heavy energy someone is in. And I feel like this is that person that's wrapping up the cycle because they're dealing with some sort of, you know, demonic energy that's attached to them um, that may have some sort of addictions or obsession or some sort of cords, you know, and they're trying to eliminate the stress. And like I said, you you give them that hope, you know, you make them feel more positive about life, um, more capable to dealing with certain things where somebody else could be like an energy vampire. Um, it says build an emotional connection over a physical one. So maybe this is something this person may have done in the past. Um, you know, the physical att uh, attraction could have led someone into a connection with someone prematurely. Um, you know, it was all about the sex. It was physical. I was picking up on someone being with someone for the finances, but maybe this person that you're attracting is with the person because they look good, uh, because they were beautiful. Um, I feel like there's some sense of like connecting with people that keep you grounded. Um, around people you know that will support you and love you whether this is your energy or the person you're attracting it's like there's this intention to be around people where you feel like you could get your, your your spirit rejuvenated where you could pick up some jewels and gems um, this person is realizing that they have to be emotionally intelligent um, and not just proud and egotistical uh, because it's not realistic especially when you're trying to establish a relationship um, we have Nas halftime. So halftime is typically when you take a time out, uh, when you take a break. I feel this person has really been having a lot of dream activity or maybe you have been finding yourselves having a lot of dream um, dreams. So make sure to cleanse around your beds. If you have a dream catcher, you might want to cleanse that uh, with protection as needed. This does feel like someone could be intentionally putting some sort of spell work on someone. Um, maybe someone is um, doing mirror magic. So you might want to turn like if you have a mirror in your bedroom where you rest, like just cover the mirror. Uh, definitely purify your mirrors with the smoke of like sage or uh, Palo Santo or even frankincense and myrrh. Um, you know, you can even wash your mirrors with the, um, you know, water with salt or even um, 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 Palo, uh, uh, Florida water. Thank you, spirit. Uh, but there is this this desire to really build with people that you feel very comfortable with people that you feel are supportive, that do give you words of encouragement, that do kind of give you that ear, you know, so maybe this is your energy or maybe this is someone who's seeking the, you know, that that wise counsel from the elders. Um, we have perform a grounding ritual, kick your shoes off and plant your feet in the dirt. So there is a need to release 
um, than to let go because I feel many of you could be could really be still holding on to baggage, still holding on to trauma. Um, maybe someone is, you know, doing that after, you know, completing and cutting some sort of karmic cord. So we're going to tap in tune and see what's coming and going out and on. As you already know, I'm going to shuffle three times, uh, cut the deck three times. And let's see what we got. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. And we have no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So you are very, very sensitive to energy, especially with emotions are running high. So like I said, sensitive, very heightened, you know, heightened spiritually, heightened you know, psychically, intuitively. So whatever attack, psychic attack, spiritual attacks, it's like you could feel it and sense it. It's like you can sense bad energy. Um, so you are very mindful of who you're giving the attention and your time to, who you're watching or communicating with. It's like there's a sense of protection um, that surrounds you. There's a sense of someone also realizing um you know, that there is a need to protect themselves uh, because there could be people who are kind of like looking to um, thwart some sort of plan or block a blessing or steal an idea. Um, because I was picking up on that earlier uh, with halftime. I feel like somebody's taking a break from this um, and, you know, they're going to try to reapproach it. Uh, we got it's the chemistry for you, the inherent chemistry. So this is what's. Um, motivating this person to coming towards you regardless of you being blocked this person is like i said feeling drawn um being pulled to you you know energetically um there's a magnetism there's a force um and this is love you know the force is love and i feel this person has you know already come to the realization like i said that you are like a twin or a soulmate or a conjure uh, a cosmic companion and they're willing to fight, you know, but there is going to be communication. So we have um, backstabbing, plotting, planning, and scheming, and, and it says high alert here. So this is what I feel this person is protecting themselves, you know, and this is why the devil is here also, because I feel somebody is trying to threaten this connection. Someone may have caught wind that this person feels something deeper for you, feel like you're their cosmic companion feels like you are the one that got away and they're heartbroken by this they're mad at the fact this person this person chose you over them and this person is realizing that someone's trying to close out a cycle but this is a destiny type of love and I feel like with you being psychic and very intuitive you could probably sense the forecast that someone coming in is not just you know they're not coming in without baggage um, even though they may have walked away from someone, that someone is not giving up without a fight. Like they, I'm seeing vengeful, like someone very re uh, vengeful, hateful, someone that wants to, you know, try to get someone back because they feel hurt. They feel threatened. Someone could be potentially blocking, trying to thwart this plan or trying to block this connection from developing. And I feel it's because someone feels someone was kind of juggling them, lying to them, cheating on them. Um, and this is because this person may not have ever expressed themselves or communicated their truths or stood up for themselves. And so now there's this sense of, you know, them finally doing such. Um, we have a uh, dead prez feature in Styles P. This is called Gangsta. So I do feel like this person has, you know, also evolved into like a spiritual gangsta, someone very spiritual, someone in tune because they've been receiving their own downloads. They've been doing their own internal work. So it's almost like they sensed the, you know, whatever uh, was lurking and looming in the air. Um, and I feel like this is, you know, why they're re-strategizing, um, re-strategizing a plan. That's why it could be a little delayed in terms of uh, why it's not, you know, unfolding. But there's a lot happening behind the scenes. And I feel this person is just really paying attention to everything so as not to bring the drama your way um, because your energy is step out of your comfort zone. So you, you want to avoid the drama by all costs. So this person knows that about you because they see you as the divine feminine. And they also know you're very psychic. So they're trusting that you trust them in the process. Um, it says, be the change you wish to see in the world. Each one, teach one. And what did I say about you being that teacher? Um, you've taught this person because it says, be the change. So they've watched you ascend into your power. 
you know, you stopped talking about it and you, you started to be about it. And this is something this person has learned from you. This is why they looking at you like you got so much self-love. And that's why they understand why you're guarded. And they understand that because maybe they were the ones, you know, in the past that was doing the backstabbing and to you and they didn't realize it. They didn't see it from your vantage point. But now that they're dealing with someone that they could have chose over you or that they could have been in a relationship with that you didn't know about, um, they're realizing how toxic that connection is and how beautiful and how easy how natural things flowed with you so this person sees you as a, a very powerful conduit of change a master manifester a co-creator very beautiful nurturing caring loving powerful abundant independent self-sufficient psychic wise they see you as this they've learned from you through this process and so this person definitely is looking at you as some sort of wish fulfillment as some sort of um blessing in disguise uh, so this person now is ready to come forward. We have standing firmly on your square, grounded, and balanced. So we're about to clarify this completion. So this person is trying to assert themselves in this connection because they've already seen, you know, from a whole different vantage point that whatever that it is they were in, it wasn't working for them. It wasn't fulfilling. Um, they felt emotionally bankrupt. And I feel like that's why they are mustering up, you know, the strength and the courage to walk away, to end the cycle, because now they have to start um, standing in their power, showing that self-discipline, that self-respect. Um, so we have let us see and this is called all right so this person knows everything is already all right the moment they assert themselves and take this initial step so we got look at that i always feel like somebody's watching me and this is because that devil is watching that devil's always watching this person they spy on this person and maybe this is how they discovered that you exist scorpio because this person was spying on this person coming in and this person coming in could be someone that could have been a friend that has a deeper attraction to you that you may not know about. This could be somebody you possibly dated in the past, um, but the relationship ended before it even started. Uh, this is a friend or someone that, you know, someone you know in your surroundings, someone you're familiar with, someone from your past that you have not communicated with. Um, I do feel there's a lot of eyes watching this person. Um, also, as I said, could have had just a lot of different people um, putting their opinions, giving unsolicited advice, and they just had to muster up the strength, courage and wisdom to walk away um, and to know that everything is going to be all right. They didn't have to stay stuck and stagnant or complacent. Um, in anything they didn't have to sit there listening to that overbearing mother they had to be strong you know um, and they had to do what they felt was best for them and I feel like they do ultimately mama Oshun is here beauty love attraction you sexy thank you and remember this is the 57 which is 12 the 3 so that's that divine feminine this person knows now is the time for healing you know um, I feel like you'll know if it's all right if you can move forward with this person because I do feel like you're gonna feel uh, whether this person is being their authentic self and I do feel this person's coming in with you know the right intentions to invest to build a legacy a family um, to plant seeds and roots to work together um, this is someone that's willing to compromise to commit uh, because they do love you they're attracted to you mind body soul um, and this person sees you as the yang to their yin yin to their yang so they do want to make things right with you um, and they want to see you. I feel like there is distance. So why is a time for healing, teaching, and learning in the Ten of Coins here? For my beloved Scorpios, for what's hidden in the energy, may have a message of love and light. And so we have uh, empath problems. It's too peopley outside. So this is that person that's been in the hermit mode. And this is why they feel a little apprehensive. Um, because they could still be healing. Um, they could still be healing, still untrusting. Maybe this is your energy, you know, because they do see you as very uh, guarded, very protective. Um, but this person could also be equally guarded because of what they've endured. Uh, I do feel like, you know, with this, it's too peopley. This could be, you know, the fact that they may see you as someone that's very introverted or maybe this person is introverted um, because that hermit mode just calls for you to be in separation of other people in isolation, kind of doing, like I said, that internal self audit. Um, but this person does, um, you know, want to come in and, and offer love, offer commitment. Um, you know, like I said, this is like someone really coming in intentionally. Um, so 
with teaching and learning, they're learning how to be more assertive. Uh, it says read the room and see who's got their eyes locked on you. And so I feel like someone has come to some sort of realization that they had a lot of fakes, fugazis, frenemies, enemies, a lot of slithering ass people around them. And so they started to, you know, kind of learn how to move in a room full of vultures. Um, this is why their body language is like guarding themselves, protecting themselves. Whenever you cross your arms um, over your chest, that's a very defensive um, disposition. So I feel someone has learned um, to really assess, you know, the energy or to really observe the body language, you know, to pick up on the energy um, around them because with this pride, maybe someone's pride wouldn't allow them to see people in a certain way, but maybe through watching you, they see how you had to go through the steps or navigate certain relationships, even with people that you may have known for a long time. They see how you had to deal with those situations and maybe they learned a thing or two from you. Um, with this um, energy, oh, I'm, I'm missing a card. So yeah, oh, no, no, no. No, that was the a time to give rather than receive. So, yeah, this person realizes like they can't give their energy and time um, to everyone. They got to be in sync. You know, they got to be in harmony. You know, there has to be harmonization between their energy and someone else. It has to be fluid. And I feel like, you know, whatever they was around, there was a resistance. Uh, there was a lack of reciprocity. Uh, maybe they was these energies were just kind of feeding off of them. Um, and maybe with you, they realized like there was more of that equal give and, give and take. Um, and maybe this is something that they could have been cut off with uh, from you because they were doing that to you. Because remember, in the very beginning of the reading, we saw um, effort. So somebody didn't make the effort, which led to the demise or the connection overall. So read the room. This person's reading the room, assessing, analyzing, observing body language, energy. You know, seeing how things sit in their spirit, very guarded. So let's see, why is um, a time to give rather than receive synchronicity and the five of sticks here for my beloved Scorpios for the outcome? See that? We got incubus, succubus. So this is a very toxic energy, someone with addiction, someone who uses sex as a weapon. This is someone who realized like this connection was lacking. Um, they was dealing with somebody who was very immature, who had everybody in their business. This is somebody they couldn't trust as far as they can throw them. This is somebody who was for everybody. See, I can't make this up. Look what's in my hand. Trust issues. They couldn't trust them because this person was literally like probably sleeping around, dealing with different people. You know what I'm saying? Gossiping about them like defaming. This is defamation of character. Trying to like make someone look like the bad guy, the bad girl. But this was also somebody that was just with someone for sex. You know, just for the sex, just for the stability. Someone was just using, you know, this is like superficial energy. And I remember there was something I alluded to in the earlier. And it was like somebody was just using someone or with someone for the way that they looked. But we see here this person is ending this. This is um, the end of a chapter with someone. They're, they're out of love. You know, this love situation, they're realizing it wasn't love. This wasn't love. This was lust. You know, this wasn't love. This was lust. And they're afraid to be hurt again. Maybe you're afraid, but we got newness playing by Music Soul Child. So this person's ready for the new. You know, they're ready for the new with you is what I just heard very loud in my mind's eye. And this Ten of Baskets goes over, you know, in the next card, but they're both outcome cards. So it doesn't really matter. But this person definitely feels like... um they're wrapping up a cycle with somebody that they discovered was very dishonest. Somebody that was really like defamating their character. This is somebody that they confuse love with lust. And it says, do something for yourself. Watch a sunset, take a drive, purchase some lingerie, some clothing, a piece of jewelry and love on you. And this is you. Self-love makes you more attractive. You learn to love yourself, prioritize your needs and wants over that of everybody else. You know what I'm saying? You love those that love you. And I feel like this is something you learned how to do because you was dealing with a lot of lack of reciprocity. Maybe your pride wouldn't allow you to see things, you know, the way it was. But I also feel like somebody's going to come in to love on you. And we got Ain't No Stopping Us Now playing by um, Ohio Players. So ain't nothing stopping somebody from coming in because they do see you as the divine feminine and they do feel like they could have emotional fulfillment. Where have you been all my life is telling me that this person is really um, coming in and is going to really lay it on thick because they feel like not only are you wish fulfillment, 
but it's like everything is just going to be perfect it's of every evil eye that's watching you shall go blind impenetrable wall of protection so this union is very protected it's divinely protected i feel you're also protected from this devil energy your person is protected because this is shown us you know time and time again how much of a sacred uh union this is and there is someone like really trying to plot and scheme on trying to block this connection um but i do feel like your angels, ancestors, and guides are bringing forth some sort of breakthrough and victory. Let me get one more message. So this person that had a lot of pride, I feel like there was an ego death. You know, a lot of it was ego death because I was picking up earlier like conceited energy, me, me, me energy. And they had to learn to, you know, really curb that, uh, that, that, that attitude, you know, especially when you're approaching this divine feminine or divine masculine law of attraction. So you're you're manifesting, like I said, your dreams, hopes and des desires. Someone sees you as, you know, that wish fulfillment as well. Remember that star. So I feel like during this, you know, full moon, someone could come in and, and ex look at this, accept the apology you never received and take your power back now. So that's what you had to do to ascend to this level of, you know, that divine feminine is you all had to navigate that pain and learn how to turn it into power um and that's why someone has learned from you uh this is also why someone realizes um that you are very sensitive you know that you have kind of isolated yourself or maybe this is something they're doing so that they can really make sure to have um positive connections opposed to just making it up in their head that they're with the right people when in fact they're with the wrong folks the people that are plotting and scheming people that are using sex as a weapon to throw someone off. Remember we saw, you know, domestic harmony. So there's a lack of that in the connection with ain't no stopping us. Now this person is go not only are they determined, but remember um, their passion is growing and intensifying. So it's going to lead them to come toward you because this person is putting past, you know, putting their pride and ego to the side to take this step to take, you know, that step forth, you know, forward. So, Let's get, you know what? We're good. We're good. We, we, we're coming up on an hour and 30. So I feel really good with this message. You know what? No, let, let's get a couple more messages. Let's see. Um, let's see what we got with Kipper. Well, let, let's go ahead. I picked up the deck. So let's complete the energy, you know, because I want to see what's hidden. You know, let's see what's hidden. So we got on the bottom of the deck, unexpected income. And remember, you had the Ace of Pentacles show up as a bonus message. So you you should definitely be expecting, you know, call it in, be open for it. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to do like a manifestation ritual, you know, to just write an intention and lay it out, you know, in, in that moon energy. But I definitely feel like you're manifesting something. Something's coming in um, for you, beautiful Scorpios. We got family room here. So maybe there's some time you're going to have some family discussions Maybe somebody's coming in to have a conversation with you. I feel like someone's had a change of heart also. Somebody's wanting and willing to travel to see you, someone you haven't seen in a while. There's a victory ahead. There's some sort of movement forward. I feel like you've won some sort of battle or war. You know, this is also just saying like there's victory, there's success. There's a, a breakthrough of some kind. With that 25, that's seven. So maybe there's a moment of clarity. Okay, so there's one card that flew out. So high honor is your bonus message. So you're getting some sort of breakthrough victory, some sort of success. This is like, you know, the divine is rewarding you. This is a powerful movement forward. This is celebratory. This is like recognitions, reward, celebration. That could even be some sort of ceremony. There's a new pathway, a new beginning. And we have um, Jadakiss, and this is called Realist in the Game. So I feel like somebody's coming in and they're going to be real with you. And we got courtship. So they're going to court you. They're going to be attentive. They've learned your love language. So this is someone coming in and they're going to be real this time around. You know, there's not going to be any games. There's not going to be any, you know, child's play. Like this person is coming in and I feel like this is a protected union. This is someone that can foresee marriage with you because this is the hierophant. And I feel like anybody that's throwing shots or trying to take shots, it's like this energy here that's preying on your downfall. It's like it, it, it can't stop the divine's, you know, the divine, uh, the divine. It can't stop the divine, regardless of what that may be. 
Someone is being very childish. Maybe children are a factor. Someone could be healing their inner child. I see here with the family room, this person is having some sort of family discussion. They live with this person and that's why they are taking some time, it's taking time for them to navigate their way out of it because there's a lot of ties. You know, maybe there's a child or maybe someone's considering someone's child. Um, even if they're not the biological mother or father because they've grown a bond with that person or that child, they're considering the child. That's why that financial discipline is there. Maybe someone is having to um, learn how to pay bills on their own, how to move out. They got to move out. Uh, I feel like there's some discussion, but something's ending with this 21. Something's ending within a family dynamic. 21 is the um, world card. I do feel there's also distance, emotional distance, as well as, you know, physical distance. There's something that has grown cold and distant in a relationship. And this is why somebody's been very um, manipulative and someone has been responding just as de defensive. I feel like there was a lot of, you know, immature arguments, maybe over children, but there is an element of somebody being childish, somebody dealing with someone's child's mother or, child, you know, maybe the mother who's being very childish, me, 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 sabotaging the connection. Why is the um, step out of your way? Wait, what does it say? Step out of your comfort zone, self-love, gula black and be the change you wish to see in the world here. Wow, this person sees Scorpio. So concern. So they're concerned with how you're going to. Um, receive them, you know, what your reception is going to be. They're wondering if you're going to be judgmental, if you're going to be willing to compromise um, with this 33. They know that you are their lover. They know that you, you know, are their uh, divine counterpart. Um, this person also sends you messages, like I said, uh, intuitively, telepathically. Um, this person is not sure if you're going to give them another chance, if you're willing to open up. Um, this is someone that feels like you've been very guarded uh, to protect yourself, to love yourself. So they don't know. There's this concern here. Um, and, you know, they're hoping that they can get this opportunity to express something. With distant horizons, I do feel like something is going to change positively. If there were a block or if there were blocks or if there was some sort of uh, stagnant energy, it's going to be moving along. And I feel like it's going to... Um, it's definitely going to lead to some sort of joy and happiness. Uh, we're about to clarify the karmic completion. So whatever someone was anchored to emotionally, spiritually, um, you know, karmic lessons, karmic, uh, connections, you know, um, I feel like through someone really soul searching and going within and finding balance, um, and equilibrium within themselves, mustering up that strength, healing from past pains, wounds, and traumas. This is what led to someone ending something, cutting some, someone free. Uh, and this is why there's, you know, some sort of movement. Uh, this 36 highest number of change. So they're willing to change. Perhaps they're going to move in a completely different direction. They're going to move, uh, in terms of relocating. So we have child flew right back out. So I definitely feel like someone was dealing with someone because of children, Maybe someone felt obligated because of children, but they're no longer feeling this obligation. Maybe someone was dealing with the children's mother um, and they were, you know, like I said, being nickel and dime to death uh, because someone was just trying to sabotage or control or manipulate. I feel like this person definitely keeps tabs, stays watching, stalking, obsessing over this person since they left. They used the child as a pawn. And maybe someone has really been, you know, trying to navigate this because it's this energy of looking at the bigger picture. Maybe they felt like they needed to compromise or they needed to bend to someone else's will because of their children. They feared maybe someone would take their children and leave or and they wouldn't be able to see their child. So they will they were willing to compromise. But now somebody is really, you know, ready to end the cycle. They're tired of it and they're willing to shoot their shot towards someone or something that they truly desire. On the bottom of the deck, we got message of concern. So that children mom or father is going to receive this message of concern and it's going to cause some sort of argument some sort of debate um we did see the son of knives so someone is going to be really cold and callous this is somebody that they feel like they've been juggling 
You know what I'm saying? It's like a, it's, it's like this back and forth emotional roller coaster ride. Someone's receiving a message of concern, and I feel like they're receiving a message of concern because perhaps maybe someone is saying, "Hey, I'm going after you know my divine feminine. This is the person that I want to plant seeds and roots with. This is someone that I want to invest in long term. This is someone that I feel that I can grow with. We can grow together." Um, and they see that they're trying to reconnect, you know, to reconcile, to heal the connection with you, to resurrect. And this is concerning for this devil energy that feels like they can sabotage. So they're going to resort to some sort of backstabbing, plotting, scheming, scamming, trying to get people in on it, which is why there's a lot of, you know, this energy here uh, where the gossip starts, the lies, the trickery, the sabotage, the manipulation. And so let's see what we got. So why is, so what is this? Why is the time for healing, the teaching and learning, the 10 of coins, strength? Oh, um, I keep doing this. Strength goes here. I keep mixing up the cards. My bad. So why is a time for healing, teaching and learning, and the 10 of coins here with empath problems for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. So, and we have despair. I can't make this up. Somebody is in despair because someone's moving on. Someone's saying, I'm leaving you is playing a bunch of childish games. This is a main male. This main male is, you know, absolutely in despair. You could sense it. Maybe somebody can sense, maybe they're empaths and they can sense that, you know, something has come to an end because maybe you're coming into some sort of new cycle with someone else healing repairing a relationship with someone this is someone that with the ten of coins that you're really investing in this is somebody that's like investing in you i feel this person definitely is feeling despair because of you know their inability whoever this is that's feeling like despair you know somebody could be really struggling you know, maybe this person, what's hidden in the energy, somebody could be receiving some sort of, you know, because maybe they were struggling financially and that's how or why they felt like tied. They was like attached, codependent. And so they were struggling because maybe they was trying to find work. You know, this is somebody trying to find work, trying to find their way, trying to get their legs. Maybe you're picking up on someone's energy telepathically. I feel when the two of you come into union, you're going to have, you know, you're going to have the abundance, the financial fulfillment, because as we already see, like you're already in emperor status. So you're already um, well off. Maybe somebody feels like you left them out in the cold. And this could be the person that may have potentially left you out in the cold in the past. And now this person is feeling it's almost like karmic justice. It's like they're feeling whatever the pain they caused you. This is like someone that you're not communicating with. With main male, this could have been the person that led you down your journey of spiritual healing, growth. This could also be somebody who felt despair in separation. And now, you know, they're, they're, they've grown, you know, more aware. They've grown wiser. They've been healing. You know, they're put together. This is somebody, you know. So let's see. Why is, um, what is that? A time to give rather than receive synchronicity. Five of sticks. Trust issues and incubus succubus energy here for my beloved Scorpios. Somebody realizes they was sleeping with the enemy, dealing with a snake. So I see there's a couple of cards upright. I saw two cards or three cards upright. Or maybe I'm tripping. I thought I saw some cards upright. Okay, maybe I'm tripping. Okay. Sudden wealth is on the bottom of the deck, so maybe that's why I needed to do that, because we needed to see that cha-ching, cha-ching. So there's some sort of blessing coming in. I feel like the divine, this is coming straight from the divine. That's like carnocopia or harvest. This is like infinite supply. This is like a sudden win. It's like, you know, a scratch off ticket, a lottery win, sweepstakes, a survey. You just get paid just right then and there. I feel like you'll know intuitively. Maybe there'll be some messages coming in. Maybe you'll see 888-777-666. Maybe you'll uh, win some sort of sweepstake playing those numbers. 
why is a time to give rather than receive? So maybe when you receive this win, the divine is reminding you to be giving, you know, to, to, um, you know, what do they say? Um, pay it forward. So don't forget where you came from. Like, look out for those, you know, that may need help. Look out for those that may have helped you, you know, don't get fat and forget about people. You know, fat is a term, not literally fat. But don't just get all your know, pockets fat and then you start acting all sn snooty and you don't, you know, forgot where you came from. Like, take care of those that took care of you, you know, be kind, be giving. You don't I'm not saying splurge and make it rain on people. But, you know, if there's something you could do and it's coming from a place of love and you feel like you want to help that person then help that person, like, don't be selfish. I feel like there's also people that's going to be coming around, you know, trying to be leechy parasitic and you're going to have to be trusting of your intuition you're going to have to pay attention to that because these people you know are just really like maybe they're coming around to take maybe they're used to you giving them they feel you know entitled so why is uh incubus trust issues five of sticks synchronicity and the time to give rather than take here for what's in the outcome for my beloved scorpios we have a message of love and of light thank you spirit and so we have mature men so this person's coming in intentionally to give this is the number five so not only are they going to come in and give you the truth and express themselves honestly this person has grown they have matured this is somebody who went from biting their tongue to not communicating hiding and running from their feelings to now knowing that they got to match your vibration that's why you got synchronicity here you know they can't fight the love and we got michael jackson I just can't stop loving you. So this is somebody who tried to run away. This is somebody who definitely left you out in the cold. And them leaving you only left them in despair. And I feel like they felt every bit of pain they made you feel. And they realized that you was the emotional fulfillment. You were the person that would bring stability, happiness, joy into their life. And in your absence, they felt your, your absence heavily. But they know that you are their Divine feminine, divine masculine. You're the yang to the yin. This person may have struggled financially. Maybe they had to leave a situation because someone was sucking them dry. This incubus, succubus energy. This person that couldn't be trusted as far as they could be thrown. They could have potentially been using this person for money. Setting them up. This is like somebody who cleaned someone dry. The 37 is, you know, they had some sort of, you know, an epiphany, a grand epiphany. And, you know, someone that they could have been loyal to. You know, they realized and discovered they was a rat, realized that they was, you know, really like running around gossiping, telling their business. You know, especially with that uh, five, you know, everybody running around. See this energy? This is the spirit of lack being stuck somewhere based off of the decision they made. But now they have the clarity of the 37. This is a ending. This is a cycle ending. This is the completion. And now they're wrapping, you know, wrapping it up and coming into a whole new beginning. So why is the pride led them to this poverty? It flew right back out. And so they had to put their pride aside because their pride led to some sort of, you know, lack. This is them like, you know, being on uh, being overburdened. This is them like really. It's almost like they cut their nose off despite their own face and they trusted the wrong people. They didn't trust you. They had to learn to love themselves. They had to learn the same lessons. On the bottom of the deck, wealthy man is here. So I feel like this person has learned from mistakes. You know, this is, again, teaching and learning. Someone has learned the same way you have learned and evolved into your divine feminine. This is divine masculine 13. This is the death. You know, someone has re-emerged as more mature, wiser. They've learned your love language. They've been watching you. He got a smile on his face and he's ready to give. He's ready to give to you, give to this connection. And that's why we had high honors, because this could be like a marriage ceremony. This could people, you know, all the onlookers that was hating, watching and seeing you being honored and praised over and crowned queen or king and also receiving some sort of blessing, miracle, wish fulfillment. Someone has their eyes on you and they want to provide stability and security. They want to invest. Why? Because you're the divine feminine, divine masculine. Look at this. You got the 12, 13. So this is yin yang energy. This is this person that was divinely meant for you and they're being aligned to you at the perfect timing. 
And so this is the person that you communicate with telepathically, intuitively. And I feel like they're going to rush towards you because now they feel the sense of confidence. They know they have something to offer you. And I feel like you're going to lean in. They're coming in and they're going to court you. And we have SWV, anything. So this person's coming in to give you anything. Remember earlier we had let us see anything. And so, or um, all right. And there was somebody else that was singing anything, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, they're singing it now. So this person's coming in to give you anything. They're willing to do anything for you. This is someone that's going to be very charismatic, charming. They're coming in intentionally so they know your love language. So they're going to be attentive and communicative. They're going to be great listeners. You know, someone very affectionate, thoughtful. And you're just smitten. You leaning in. And your angels, ancestors are connecting you with this person because this is a spiritual connection. This is a divinely ordained connection. And this person has learned to submit to the connection opposed to running from it. And with this wealthy man and this divine feminine here underneath, we already see this is the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. And I feel like there's separation because you both had to learn lessons through the karmic relationships and experiences that you all were in. And you both have learned. And I feel someone had to learn to put their pride to the side and to get in touch with their emotions, how to emote. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping into the channel. If you found that the messages resonate, please be kind. Hit the like, the share, the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay well. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Um, thank you all for tuning and tapping in. And stay powerful. Stay protected. Ground yourselves. Protect yourselves. And definitely be mindful of who you give your energy to right now. Okay? Take your spiritual baths. Smudge your homes. Cleanse your mirrors. Do your due diligence. And give honor and praise to the beautiful ancestors, angels that you may work with. Give them offerings, food, little tobacco, pour them libation, give them some flowers, their favorite treats. Connect and, and spend that, that time in front of your sacred space. Okay? But thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I share.